Greetings, Ebony's and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break. So, apparently, I didn't know how the cookie debates worked, especially since, uh, well, I did know how they worked, but I didn't know how they ended. But apparently, it's just one of those things where, like, you just activate them and you casually run them. And if you haven't seen my last cookie debate video, then you should definitely uh, check that out. All I know about this new one, because I haven't interacted with it uh, yet, <laughs> I haven't interacted with it yet, it's about money versus health. Which, already going into this, I'm already going Team Health, if it's just that basis summary concept. But, uh, I do want to tap into it, because, uh, you know, I'm very curious on how the story's going to work. Because so far, it looks like Pirate, who definitely is going to be representing money, and Jinseng, who's definitely going to be representing health. Though, if you haven't checked out my last video on the cookie debate, which is about pineapple and pizza, does it belong or does it not belong? You should go check that out, because I have some hot takes in that video. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk. Let's do the cookie debate. Pineapple pizza debate. Oh, the results are in. I don't pizza know you. Is the on it's the honest one. Natural over Okay, so I can't see it, but the thing is I'm pretty sure immediately when I press okay, then another cutscene just play. I think no oh, pineapple pizza eater, okay. Okay, so there is a result screen. I wish I shoved that in into the plumbing video, but unfortunately I didn't. But now we should be able to tap into this with the new cutscene. Yes, there we go. Finally. I understand how this works now. The first debate is over. Now it's time to announce the next topic. If you could make one wish, would you wish for an infinite coin pouch or an eternally healthy crispy dough? So, inter so, infinite coin pouch or eternally healthy crispy dough. This this is another topic that will surely spark intense discussions. Of course, it's coins. With coins, you have nothing to fear. Oh, oh, what good is having coins if you're not healthy enough to spend them? You need money to take care of your health? Why are you being so illogical? Both matter equally. <laughs> the only one statement I would ever agree with a ice juggler cookie, especially since she hates everything. Oh, that was supposed to be the other way around. Wait, what? What does that mean? When you gaze at the horizon, you realize that th uh, things like coins become meaningless. All you wish for is not being soggy when the waves come crashing down. We're not sea cookies. On the land, you need coins to do anything. Now you know why I stole from cookies on my way here, huh? If you had coins, you could ride a huge ship instead of a tiny boat. Whether you have coins or not, I don't think it's your place to say. <laughs> She's speaking in front of a full-on detective right now. With coins, everyone can get along harmoniously. Very cookie, why are you on that side? You really are an ambitious cookie. Dr. Bones Cookie, I believe in your professional ethics. Being healthy allows you to do whatever you love. When I'm pulling all-nighters undercover, sometimes all I can have is one jelly. And it, it, it can get very exhausting despite my passion for the job. There are things more important than coins in the cookie life. But to expand my sandwich shop, I need coins. No matter how healthy I am, I can't open up a whole shop out of nowhere. It's usually my biggest dream, I need coins. Otherwise, I'll end up spending. In, I'll end up selling tasteless sandwiches that'll ruin my health. Back then, I might have chosen. I might have chosen coins too. But now, I understand that there's nothing more important than health. Everyone has different opinions, but I'm always right. Then you just say you agree with both sides. <laughs> both sides bring very strong arguments. It's very hard to decide to pick a side. Can't we have both? What would you choose? If you make one wish, what would it be? Oh boy, here comes the decision of a lifetime. Now, personally. I know people, well first, actually let me, let's look at some of these quotes, it might be interesting. Ice Juggler's like, I prefer coin pouches, isn't obvious? <sighs> oh, it only comes on for a second. What, coins where? Of course, you can earn coins anywhere. The sandwich's like, you need coins to make better sandwiches. Be good to your dough. That's all that care about or something. Coins are very important. Health becomes more important over time. Coins, coins, more coins. Health always comes first. Alright, so with these options, uh, personally, I'm going to select Team Health. Which, you may be- well, first of all, I gotta go inside this. Boop, 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 boop. There's a logo. There we go, 50,000 coins. Now, this comes- yeah, your team is losing. Oh my gosh, people are going for more money! Alright, well, I mean, I was part of the pineapple winning team, but, like, personally, I guess money would- I mean, the thing is, both have their pros and cons, because now this is gonna be the part of the video where I start, like, debating. Like, start speaking my piece, because- Personally, here's the thing. I can understand why... Because the thing is, they say infinite money pouch and infinite health. Because it's weird. Because if it was infinite... If they're really talking about, like, just infinite money, they're like, that's understandable. But the thing for me personally is I always believe that there there is no better gift than the gift of life. Because that's one of the most cherished things you can ever have. And money is something material. Yeah, yeah, sure. It is hard to, like, make money for some people. But, like, peaceful. <laughs> it's hard to make money for some people. But once you think... Once you... If you're just smart about it, you start saving, you start investing, new stuff like that. It is possible to just make more money than the average person. It does take time, but of course, 
that's easy. But the thing is, if you just had a healthy body, like let's put dough because let's just compare, you know, money and coins, you know, similar to cookies and humans and dough on the body, you know, similar to that stuff. I would personally prefer just a very healthy body because I feel like that would put a lot of less stress off of me. Like genuinely, if I had a healthy body, I wouldn't have to deal with so much stress. Like, I don't know, like diseases, uh, injuries, uh, sprains, broken bones, all that stuff. Like even injuries that could happen to you without even like without even being prompted, like you didn't know about, like it just happened all of a sudden. Like for example, I'll give a good example. One time I took a nap and uh, I thought nothing was fun. like nothing bad happened to me. Nothing. I literally just stood in bed all day. Like well not all day, but like I stood in bed just to rest. And when I woke up, and it was a short nap too. But when I woke up, I had the most nasally voice for some reason. Like something was goofed up with my throat, and I didn't know what. It went away over time. But for some reason, I had no idea and I didn't need to prompt going to the hospital, but like it just made making videos and content like worthless. The thing is, money is renewable. Like you can just find all the money that you want in the world with just like, you know, jobs and stuff like that. It doesn't matter what job it is, you can still obtain it. But when it comes to like having a healthy body, there is only one of you. So you need to make sure that you treat yourself with the best stuff that you can. So if you're able to have that opportunity lifted off your shoulders where you will just be infinitely healthy and never have to worry about that, that would be a lot of stress off your shoulder. Because like, if it told you like, oh, if you were healthy, like, what does it mean? Yeah, you must learn the importance of health. That there's, that's what they're saying up there. Which, yeah, of course, I know the importance of health. Trust me. It's just, you know, why? Like, like I understand like people want like infinite money because obviously you could literally spend so much on that stuff. But I would rather like have my friends and family as here as long as they possibly can. Like, I of course understand that no matter how good your health is, you will perish eventually because of, you know, age and stuff like that. Your body over time gets weaker. That would probably make you last a lot longer. But like with stuff like that, and especially like see, like serious diseases and stuff like that, that could like ha be a high aptitude for just like making your life like go down years. But the thing is, that's why I would want to help with your body because usually if I had that, I would basically just be here for a lot longer so i could be here with a lot of my friends for a lot longer i could entertain more people a lot longer and sure i guess if i had an infinite money pouch you could argue that even if you were generous you'd just be like oh we'll just donate to charity and that would actually cure a lot of things and you could also give that to a lot of your friends and family though i feel like a bit of that is powered by greed instead of passion because like i said it's material it's more of a want and not a need like don't get me wrong you obviously need money to live in this world like basically to do anything around here like if you have a car you need it for gas you ever have a house you need it for rent wow well, that's for an apartment but for a house there's like bills to pay uh all that stuff internet uh water electricity gas all that stuff but at this end of the day you have to bear in mind that from my personal opinion like, there's only one of you, and there's one of the billions of people in the universe, and eventually we're not going to live to see another day. Like, I know it's kind of sad to say, but that's why we have to kind of cherish all the moments that we have as we are currently living. Because if we don't, then what is the point? Like, we have to cherish everything that we can. And of course, like I mentioned, money definitely helps with so many things. Like I mentioned bills or even costs for, like, going to other places, like buying things. But to be honest... I would give away all the money in the world if it means just spending just a little tiny bit more time to hang out with my friends, family, fans, people like I've seen over the internet or in real life, because they mean so much more to me than a $100 bill could. I am being genuine about that, and that could just be me from the heart speaking, but that's also my honest, genuine opinion. That is why I would choose money, <laughs> not at all. That's why I would choose health over money, which both would be good, but I would prefer health personally. And I'm not saying that my opinion is going to go ahead and change other, the entire other team around, but that's not, that doesn't mean I'm not going to fight for him. <laughs> Sorry if that took an absurd amount of time, but I really wanted to just make that video because what, what do you expect? Health comes first. So how this event works is that you need to display title. Oh, wait. Complete? complete? Shareholder? Oh. Edit? What's going on? Oh, okay, okay, it is equipped. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So how this event works, by the way, just if you want to see some running in this video, some actual action, is that you go, you need to, by the way, it just hit 11 o'clock, meaning the rewards reset, meaning that if you go over to uh, Cookie Debate, it tells you down here that you need to get points. Like for example, finish the trophy race in top five places, earn a billion points, collect 2000 jellies, slide for 30 seconds, jump a total of hundred times. So personally, I feel like what would be cool to do is that you could do this in trophy race to try and complete a race. However, what I think makes sense is I'm gonna go over to the Cookie Trials and I'm actually going to go ahead and do a quick run within, you know him, we all love him. I hope you know him, because if, if you don't know him, then I'm kind of upset about that. But 
if I can find the pleb first, because dear lord, there's so many trials, that's just easy to forget all of them. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and run on our old man Jinsen Cookies trial, because he is the main person representing the health cause. If it was Pyro Cookie, I'd probably be running with Pyro Cookie either in trophy race or something like that, because I'm pretty sure he has a trial, but you know me. But let's go ahead and give a regander on uh, Jinsen Cookies trial. Now, I am serious if I did kind of like sound super serious there, but that's all, that's the thing about these debates. You kind of have to speak your mind. You have to speak your opinion, because the thing is, you know, when you are hard stuck on something, then you stand for it. You represent it. You just, you don't just go ahead and just go like, oh, well, uh, by the way, this car is passing by, even though it's like 11 o'clock, which makes sense. But like, I, I thought they'd be like driving by a little bit earlier, like eight or something. But like, I will mention when you have a thing that you stand for, you stand for it. You didn't just go like, oh yeah, I, I agree with this. No, if I got to be a part of the cause that go ahead and help, then of course I am. Of course I'm going to go ahead and represent it, because if I didn't, then what type of person would I be? Like, for example, you saw the last Cookie Debate video, I at least hope you did. Like, I was really hitting hard for pineapple and pizza, which I actually did see a comment on the video saying, like, uh, you know, I, I think someone didn't, uh, didn't, you know, vote for the pineapple and pizza because it's the fault of having fruit on pizza, which, the thing is, I do agree. Is it odd that fruit is on pizza? Sure. But the thing is, there are some that can work. Just because maybe you don't like it doesn't mean others can like it as well. The thing, because, you know, as I keep mentioning, the thing is, because I'm going to probably be saying those terms a lot here, it's just all about personal taste and personal preference. I mean, like I mentioned, one strong argument I personally had was the concept of the Hawaiian pizza. If it was, if, it, if pineapple pizza universally sucked, we would not have that type of flavor combination of ham and pineapple. But guess what? I've had it before, and it works just well. It works fine. I guess the real, I think realistically people just don't like the uh, juiciness, even though it makes no sense because technically, you here, here's the thing, here's a good counter argument. You, you're scared for fruit on your pizza? You, basically like whatever sauce that you have on your pizza, that's basically like based like tomato sauce. That's just it. I know it's probably like some marinara, but I've, it's gotta be, there's gotta be pizzas around there based with like some form of tomato paste. Like it would just make sense. That's how you make a good sauce. But I don't know, I, I do digress. Because, you know, I feel like we're just speaking on topics that we obviously have over, have been overdue. Which, it's ironic because I just uploaded the pizza debate video to this morning. And uh, it's been only been up for 30 minutes and there's already a few comments debating with each other. Which, I'm actually happy for it. I'm glad for some, like, healthy debates in the comments. Because, now, if you all plan to debate in the comments, which is something I personally advocate for specifically these events. Because I would like to see other people's opinions on takes like these. But, if you do choose to debate in the comment section... Something I heavily advise is don't turn toxic. Toxicity, ugh, toxicity is something I absolutely will not stand for within my Hyperheims Plevin community, your local Plev community, whatever the Plev matters. I won't stand toxicity between one person or another. I want everything here to be calm, fine, and collected because I dealt with some drama before, usually in Discord, and dear lord, even people who are on the right side of things kind of had a wrong attitude of it and were being a little bit more forced and bruteful and not taking it, you know, professionalized, that makes sense. I'm not sure if it had to do with like, youngness and stuff or just fits of rage, which I, I can understand both. But the thing is, when you're approaching a situation, you have to deal with everything as civilized as you can just so you can seem like not the better one, but at the very least seem like you know what you're talking about. But whatever. So after this run, I'm probably going to do like a cut for a few days later after we find out who wins. Which, if money ends up winning, I can understand that. Oh, that was a goof up. I The only reason why I didn't overjump there was just because I thought my uh, post invincibility was still going on. Which is fine. I probably wasn't going to try and go for world record anyway, even though I think I have the stats for it. Uh, but, anywho, that's just my personal take on it. If money wins, I can understand that why. Because, personally, if I voted for money, my personal... Uh, my, my argument for it would be charity, like donating it to a lot of people, just making them happy instead of myself. But I can understand why I can understand why people would prefer that over health. But I can also I can also understand why people would choose health over money. But that's just me. And there we go, first round of the day, easy, free stuff. And yeah, so be, be sure to tell me in the comments what do you prefer. The time for debates are over. It is time to see who is the winner amongst people wanting to choose money and people wanting to choose health. And, of course, the new debate started, but now we know that if we uh, if you tap it, then it just tells you the results. Of course, I'm part of the health team, Then there's people who are just greedy and want money. And, of course, greed wins. So, of course, really nothing happens for that. And, uh, if you're wondering, I'm pretty sure if you're part of the winning team, I think you get, like, a super special title. But, of course, that's not me, because, uh... With me, I just want to be honest and true to myself, and I'd rather choose the one that I'd be honest with instead of the one that just gets more vote and recognition. So, hey, if anyone has any differing opinions about that, then 
Fleming, let me know down in the comments because that'd be pretty interesting to see because I feel like there's already going to be debates. I already know there was a lot of heated comments last time about pineapple and pizza and where I stood from it. So this is probably going to be fun. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my cooker run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And also in the description, there's a link to my merch. There's a link to my Discord called the Hype Me Sub. And there's a link to a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the cooker run YouTube set for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype beast.